What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today I'm back with another eBay mystery pack. So from this seller, I have went and purchased two $5 packs, which he claims are going to be $20 book value per pack. And I also went and purchased a $10 pack from him, which is supposed to be $40 book value. And he went ahead and labeled these for me. I asked him and he did. So that's awesome that he did that. So I don't have to guess which ones are the $5 packs and which one is the $10 pack. And also from the seller, these are supposed to be normally what he sells are specific team mystery packs. Since I collect from various teams, instead of me getting all Ottawa Senators or all of a specific team, I asked him if he can do a mix pack for me. And he did. So I selected the Flyers, Avalanche, uh, Ottawa Senators, of course, and a whole bunch more Coyotes and certain teams that I collect. But the next time I order from him, because I plan on doing so again, I'm just going to ask for a general mix pack of teams. So for this video, I'm going to start off with the $5 packs first. So for the first $5 pack, of course, these are free shipping. Most of the hockey cards and mystery packs I get include free shipping. Up first is a Shining uh, shining Futures for Mark Stone. Tim Horton's card. I know I don't have this one. I kind of like the gold foil. Uh, I'm not usually keen on Mark Stone anymore, but that's a nice one to add to my Ottawa Senators collection at least. Next up is Henrik Samuelson, Samuelson from the Young Guns. Now I know I don't have his Young Guns, so that's pretty cool. And if I do actually have his Young Guns, then I'm just going to add this to my mystery packs that I sell on eBay. But I'm pretty sure I don't have this one, so that one's going to stay in my collection. Next is going to be Peter Forsberg, a certified future card, and it is a foil card. So that is awesome. I can't tell if this is damage underneath. If that looks like it's a little bit of the clear peeling up from the card, or what that is. I'm going to have to check, but... 1996 so that's a nice one hopefully that's not actually damage on the card but i will check because that one might be the most valued one in this pack to make it to the 20 dollars book value next is a top rookies for clayton keller now i do have a couple of his cards and i'm finding that i'm getting a small pc and i know i don't have this card so that one's a nice one to add to my pc of his i believe that is young guns and uh opg platinum young guns and the last is a Hot Rookies for Michael Garbasa. Probably butchered the name, but I don't normally collect score. That is a pretty clean back. I do like the back of that card. So that's not too bad to add to my collection. I know I don't have that one either. Next is the next $5 pack. Let's see what we get with this one. Up first is another Tim Hortons card, a Game day action card for Vladimir Tarasenko. Now I know I don't have this card. I do have a small PC of his. So that one's a nice one to add to my PC of that player. Next, a Upper Deck Portraits for Clayton Keller. Uh, which year is this? 1819. So I know I don't have this one in my collection. I always love getting the Upper Deck Portraits. So that is a nice one to add to my collection for him. Nice that I got two players for him for this collection. Next is a score rookie card for Damien Bruner. Not familiar with the player, so not really caring about this card, but still a pretty decent card. Next is a Coast to Coast Superstars card for Alexander Barkrov. Barkrov, sorry. I was a butcher name. I absolutely love these Coast to Coast cards. I have quite a few of all of the Ottawa Senators ones. Because it looks like just awesome artwork on it. That looks fabulous. And the last one in this $5 pack looks amazing. I am stunned by this. And that is Brandon Manning, Philadelphia Flyers. Out of 23, a rookie's autograph and relic card. That is the best relic card that I have. The orange, black, and white, that's awesome. This is the best relic card that I have. And for it to be a rookie card and an autograph card numbered out of only 23, that is the lowest numbered card that I have, even though it is Panini and it's not necessarily upper deck, which is what would have been freaking phenomenal with this. 
I'm really impressed. This might be the best jersey card that I have in my collection. It's a rookie card, autographed, numbered out of 23, and it looks awesome with that jersey patch. So that, in my opinion, is the best jersey patch that I have in my collection. That is probably the most valued card in this whole video. That is awesome. I'm definitely going to have to look up what the value of that card is. Wow, I'm so impressed. I'm so happy that that's that's a that's a great hit for my collection. I'm definitely keeping that. Next is the ten dollar pack. So I have a game day action card for Eric Carlson. I'm not a huge fan of him since he left Ottawa, but I know I don't have this card, so that's a nice one for my Ottawa Senators collection. Next is a Young Guns for Christian Fisher. Now, I know I do have this Young Gun, so I'm probably going to add this to my Mystery Packs on eBay. But that's a nice one to get from a Mystery Pack. Next is another Young Guns for Nick Paul. Now, I recently went and purchased this just from a seller for $2 on eBay. Now, I have a second one, so I might put this with my Ottawa Senators Mystery, mystery Packs that I sell on eBay. Which um, is all basically my doubles, my collection. So, I might include that because I already have this card. But that's a nice one. I'm a huge fan of his because I have a few of his prospect autographs from whenever he came to my town. That's awesome. A Hot Rookies for Colby Roback. Not familiar with the player, but I do have a few of these score rookie, uh, hot rookie cards. So that's pretty cool. And the last card, I'm probably going to butcher the name because I'm not familiar with the player. Mike Visetchion. Vis an autograph authentic rookies card. It's not numbered. That would have made it 10 times better for me. But to have another Philadelphia player autographed rookie card, that is awesome. So I ended up getting two Philadelphia rookie autograph cards. One is a relic card out of 23. And the other one is an authentic rookies autograph. So I am very impressed from this seller. This seller definitely came through all of the stuff that I received are of value and even though there was a ten dollar pack which was the last pack that i opened it says forty dollar value i'm gonna have to check to see how much this one is that one is the one i'm assuming to be the most valuable in this collection or in this pack but that is definitely awesome my to to get this card that is awesome i'm definitely impressed definitely gonna order from this seller again this is definitely the best jersey card in my collection autographed rookie card jersey card out of 23 philadelphia flyers which is one of the teams that are growing on me more and more i'm a huge fan so like i said from the seller i went and asked him for philadelphia flyers ottawa senators the blues florida uh, and a few other teams as well that i received as you can see next time is just going to be a generic uh, mixed pack that I'm going to ask for him. So I'm probably going to do the same thing. Two $5 packs in the future and another $10 pack. That's likely what I'm going to get from him again because I got some great stuff out of this. Personally, I think what I'm going to do is ask for specifically Philadelphia, but then I'm also going to ask just for mixed packs as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hockey card video. I'm going to leave this here. This was definitely awesome and expect to see more guys, more packs from this guy in the future because I'm going to order more from him. Please take care. Peace.